On Saturday, March 9, the 2024 Region 4 Division II Men's Basketball Tournament was held at Rock Valley College. The Wabonzi Chiefs took on the South Suburban Bulldogs and fought for the Midwest District A Championship. In the semifinals last year, the Bulldogs fell 70-59 to the Chiefs and they were trying to make a statement in the finals this year. At 1854 in the first, Laquan Washington tapped a rebound to the number one player in the country, Jamel Jones, for the first points of the contest. Driving towards the basket for the Chiefs was Doss kicking the ball to Brown for an open three. Jones was fouled going 100% on his freeze, changing the lead back. Quinton Hetty hit the front of the iron, but his shot was cleaned up by Washington. Butler was sitting in the corner and Doss pushed the ball to him. The next drive for SSC, Hetty went inside two defenders tapping the ball off the glass. Returning the call for Wabonzi was Doss. Right after, Kenton Wright Jr. passed the rock to Jones for a layup. Doss scored again and Hetty was able to rebound for two. The Chiefs made a basket and freeze to be down by one. Julius Bird then made a long two. At 9.08 in the first, head coach Lance Robinson was ejected from the game and Chris Boyd filled in. With five minutes left, the Chiefs were down by 11 until Taylor made a move. Taking the ball on his own was Marlon Bird. Going into the half, Bulldogs 39, Chiefs 29. Leading scores for the Chiefs were Perez, Doss, and Brown with six. For the Bulldogs, Jones had 13, Harrison had seven, and Abram with six. The Chiefs started the scoring in the second with a three, and then Kent Wright Jr. answered back with his own. Brown was fouled and missed his point after. The Bulldogs then lost the ball and it returned to Brown. Following a timeout by the Bulldogs, they were able to get the ball to Julius Bird for two. Jones made a three from the arch and moved his way in for a short two. Reggie Abram passed it to Hetty who used his height for more. A minute later, he rebounded a three-point attempt. At 11.33, the Chiefs were down by seven after Doss tapped it high off the glass. Robinson made his shots and then Jones. Abrams laid it up for two and another tech was called on Wabonzi leading to Jones making both threes. The Bulldogs kept their lead leading to a Midwest District A championship victory and a ticket to the national playoffs. Final South Suburban 94, Wabonzi 82. The top scorers for the Bulldogs were Jones with 29, Harrison with 16, and both Hetty and Abram with 14 each. Let's go! Congratulations. Uh, you held out. I mean, you scored more points than them in the second half. But, uh, you know, we'll, we still got to learn from it and stuff like that, okay? All right, some of you guys that did get it, okay, you can feel sorry for yourself and you can be happy for the team, okay? But what I told you guys was I don't know whose turn it was going to shine, okay? It was Marlon's time last Sunday. It was Reggie's time. Reggie came in, he was a big help. He know he could shoot them threes. He came in and shot the threes. We needed it for that energy. He came in, stopped defense. It was just proud of them. That's it. Reggie is a deadly sharpshooter. You know, uh, I knew coming into the game I was going to get a lot of doubles. And we got a lot of shooters on this team. So I know we're going to have to make them pay when that double comes. And uh, yeah, Reggie number was called today, so Reggie made them pay. Coach John Pagatti talked about Chris Harrison and Reggie Abram. Well, you know, Chris had to, Chris solidified. If Chris is a good shooter, Reggie's a good shooter. So when they're playing the box in one and they're playing the triangle, as a matter of fact, they opened up a triangle two and Reggie, when Reggie came in the game in the second half, those guys can make threes and they can make perimeter shots and do a good job. So we had, they were, they're better shooters than some of the other guys on our team, even though Reggie doesn't get a lot of playing time. So we had to put them in and they make shots, they're going to play and that's what they did. And and that would give them a lot of credit for stepping up in a big situation and making shots when they're left wide open. Harrison discussed his performance. It just made me feel good getting our first regional. I know last year, last year team didn't do it, but we got that done for them this year. I'm just proud of everybody. They was pressing up, and I was just waiting for the pass from Mel. He got me, and I just dunked to get that energy. Jones spoke about his game and winning the MVP. It was pretty good. You know, we worked hard for it. And uh, I just feel good to finally be done with that part of the season. Overall, of course, it feel good, but uh, I feel like I had a lot of mistakes. Uh, could have had more rebounds, more assists, you know, get more people involved. But at the end of the day, we still came out with the dub. I won the uh, MVP of the tournament. Not as good as it feels to hold that regional title. 
Higati explained how this matchup was emotional. Well, it's a very emotional game. It's a championship game, so you're not going to get the 30-point wins and everything else that you that you have throughout this regular season. You know, I thought the guys did a good job of making extra passes and making extra plays. I mean, they were going to play as hard as possible, you know what I mean? And, and we had to play a little bit harder. We didn't play as hard as we were supposed to be, but we got the win, and that, you know, pretty much that people say at this time of year, survive in advance and go on, and, and that's what we did. We survived in advance. You know, we, we held our composure, okay, when it was a very emotional game, and halftime we told the guys, guys, okay, it was a very emotional first half, but now we just need to calm down, okay, and calm down and, and, and I thought the beginning of the second half, we didn't calm down. We made mistakes that we weren't supposed to do. So some of the guys that were making those mistakes sat. And that's just part of college basketball. And that led to somebody else playing well, which was Reggie Abram and Chris Harrison. Those guys did a good job and sort of calmed our ship in the storm that was about ready to happen because they weren't going to quit. They're going to play hard and everything else. I thought we did a good job of taking away from their threes. And I thought we rebounded the ball at the beginning of the second half, we did, okay? But then after that, I thought we re started rebounding the ball a little bit better. Both Pagatti and Jones talked about nationals. Well, we're going to have to prepare for where we get. We just got to get our rest. We got to clean up a lot of stuff defensively, offensively as well, okay? And then whoever we play against, we're going to develop our game plan. And, you know, we'll tip it up sometime next week in Danville, or in two weeks in Danville and see what happens. Uh, clean up the defense, uh, less turnovers. More rebounds, more assists. The South Suburban Bulldogs will head to Nationals in Danville, Illinois on March 18th. For photos, visit us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Claude Martinez reporting for Will Cook County News.